Hi there, welcome to my tutu with teacher Brian. Hi po. Ay papasok. Kasi nakapagsin tawag ng in. Ang number naman sa baba. Are you talking? Yeah. But, meron ka alala. Meron kasi iba't ibang uri ng number. Hi there! So, sabi ko sa mga nakaraan kong video, one of the first steps in finding the area of uh, a certain score under the normal curve, you have to sketch it. So, sa pagkuha nun, napaka-importante nun. Lalo na ngayon, our lesson in this session is about the area or finding the area to the right of a score. Okay? So, this is an example. So, for example, we're looking for the area of uh, we are looking for the area to the right of 2.35. Okay? Para mas magets natin kung ano yung hinahanap, we need to sketch it. And in sketching it, as you can see, this is 2.35, itong point na ito, and then we're looking for the area to the right. So yung nasa right niya. Okay? Paano natin gagawin yun? Okay? So, simple lang. Hanapin nyo muna si 2.35 sa ating standard normal table. And we can see that it is 0.4901. So, ibig sabihin, itong area na to, yung white na yan, that is 0.4906, hindi yung 2.35 sa right. Okay? Yun yung hinahanap natin. So, how are we going to look for that? Okay, may property tayo ng normal curve, right? And we all know that that particular side of the uh, curve is 0 0.5. So, simple lang. Since alam natin to na 0 0.5, para makuha natin yung part na to, we are just going to subtract the two values. Ulitin ko, saan nakuha si 0 0.5? Si 0 0.5 ay yung kabuuan nitong kalahati ng curve. So, important yun. Kasi kailangan natin isubtract yung nakuha nating data dito sa ating standard normal table para makuha natin yung side na yun. And that is 0 0.0094. And that 0 0.0094 is our area here. Okay? So, andali, di ba? So, aalalahanin lang natin yung properties ni normal curve. Now, let's have another example. Para mas mas strengthen natin yung concept. How about we're looking for the area to the right of z is equal to negative 1.31. Okay? Draw the curve. Ito yung area natin, no? Tong shaded part. And this is negative 1.31, no? And as you can see here, iba naman siya. Okay? Kasi nadaanan niya naman yung kalahati ng curve. Nadaanan niya yon, Okay? So, anong ibig sabihin? Okay? So, ibig sabihin no, na nadaanan niya yon, we are going to look for 1.31 muna. And it is 0 0.4049. Okay? That 0 0.4049 is our area from 0 to 1.31 only. Meron tayong natira dito ang kalahati. No? At itong kalahati nito, sa discussion natin from the previous video, that is 0 0.5. Diba? The area of the half of the curve is 0 0.5. So, since it looks like combined, yung term na combined again, we're just going to add both of them. And as you can see, in adding them, we're going to get 0.9049. Therefore, the area of that shaded part that you can see now on your screen is 0.9049. Alright. So, sana malino yung part na yun. Okay? So, medyo nagkakaroon lang ng relationship between our previous discussion and some videos on getting the area under the normal curve. Okay? So, in the next video... That will be the last installment of the areas under the normal curve. We're going to discuss about the area to the left of the score. Okay, so see you there.